All righty, this one goes out to everybody who dislikes AC refrigerant dye. This is a 2014 Green. This is a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's the Summit model. That's the Primo edition. Got some Mopar aftermarket stuff with a 5.7 liter Hemi. This thing was in here last week. Uh, couldn't find much on it. I, uh, I recharged the system and we tossed a little bit of dye in there. And uh, it is back now with a AC system blowing warm. It's been, uh, it's discharged itself. There's uh, very little refrigerant left in the system. And uh, we put a bunch of dye in this last time it was here. So let's bust out the black light and see if we cannot find said dye. Now there's not much for us to take a leak. Now there's not much for us to take a look at up top. We've got some lines here. Those are running into the dash. They run down to the compressor, down to the condenser. So let's start from the top down, let's fire up the black light. Now the camera doesn't do it justice, but uh, it is quite a powerful black light. And I should be able to figure out where the leak is very quickly. Now, we can see here how that's a uh, photoluminescent. Photoluminescent isn't exactly the correct word to describe the UV reaction. Truth be told, I looked it up and I couldn't exactly find a clear definition for what is going on here with the UV light. Can anybody help me out? When exposed to black light. So uh, I'm gonna dismiss this. That's not the leak because that's all over my service valve. Uh, probably the same on this stuff down here, but I, I wanna point out what it looks like. So we look around, let's check our compressor. Ooh, I see some green down there. See. Let's take a look at the uh, condenser real quick. Let's see what we can see. Oh, holy smokes, look at that. There's a whole bunch of UV dye right over there. Look at that. There's a bend in the condenser. I see some damage. Whoa, more of it. We've got two leaks going on with this thing. Look at that. One on that side. Wow, that failed spectacularly. And another leak on this side over here. Right, let's see, let's reach down a little farther. Oh man, there's dye everywhere down here. Look at that. It's actually liquid. Yep, there's some over there. All right. Well, found it. Got more of it over there on that side. Let's go over there and take a look. Let's see, on the passenger side, look at that. Yep, more dye running out of it. That's pretty thick too. Okay, well we confirmed uh, that the leak is in fact the condenser. Let's go let everybody know and see if I can't get it sold and let's get to work. Stand by, this is gonna be a very good video. All right, good fortune smiles upon me. I have approval to uh, repair this AC on this uh, particular Summit model Jeep. But I was sticking out of the back of the stall a little too far, so I'm gonna nose this up a little. Okie dokes, I'm ready to get started. Now, disclaimer before we begin, or while I begin, I've never done this job before. So if I, uh, if I fumble around with it a little bit, um, don't shame me too bad, because I'm really not certain the order of operations. I'm, I know that the front fascia right here has to come off, or at least pulled back some. A couple other things need to be removed. It shouldn't be too difficult. I said shouldn't, oops. But, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get to it and see how how this works out. Moving forward. Oh yeah, here let's get this out of here. Some of the other plastics have already been removed, like the stuff right over here. We're just moving along with haste a little bit, trying to make good time here. So I'm about 90% sure that this uh, intake has to come out. So uh, let's get this thing out of the way right now. Unscrew that, and there's a few bolts down below. Wrong way. Oh, another one down there. I'm thinking I need to remove the uh, intake tube and then I have to pull this little box thing out. Reverse plate. Ooh, that's a little warm still. Hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. You gotta get the filter removed from the tube. Otherwise it won't fit through the hole right here. So let's get that taken care of. There we go. 
Let's see, this tube, that out of here. Okay, what do we have holding this in? Two more bolts down here. Come out. And brackets, maybe on the other side. I think there's just like some rubber grommets or something here. Nope, nope, another bolt on the power steering. Power steering reservoir, actually. That goes over there. This comes up and out. Yeah, there's two rubber grommets down here that locate this. And we don't need them anymore. And I'm working on this core support. It's got two bolts over here, two over here. I've already pulled those out. And then there's two brackets right down in here. One that bolts here and one that bolts there. I'm going to try to bolt or loosen this and get it to come up some because this is what's holding the radiator and the rest of the cooling package in position. If I can get it to move, I can sneak that radiator out through the back and then remove the condenser. That's the plan. That's the plan on my, I don't know how to do this job plan, so we're gonna see how this works out. It's either gonna work or it's not. So far, so good, it moved, check it out. How about the other side? Um, no, we're still bolted in kind of solid on this side. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it needs pry bar. Hey, this is working. Good. Now this core support's gonna stay. I'm not gonna remove it. But what I am going to do is pull this fan out if I have to, and then we're gonna pull this whole cooling package back, and that should give me some access to uh, whatever fasteners are holding that uh, condenser onto the radiator. There, that helps. Okay, I need to get this clip disconnected. Shouldn't be too hard, it was held on with some zip ties. Very odd kind of connector. Must be a Jeep thing. But does this thing even really count as a Jeep or is this like a, like a something else that's called a Jeep? I think it's something else called a Jeep. Uh, while we're getting a little bit more space here, I do think I need to pull the fans out. And this hose is very much in the way. So I think I need to remove this thing too. Which I didn't want to spill coolant, but got to do what you got to do. I've got the uh, evacuator inside of the radiator right here, trying to evacuate as much as I can. Which we're running out. It only goes down so far because the thing turns. I think I can do, check this out. There we go. Yes. This is gonna be a minimal spillage type of operation. Oh yeah. Ooh, hot. That's getting a little warm. Here, you go over here. Get out of the way. We'll let that thing do its thing for a little while while I work on these fans. All right, there's a plastic strip that runs across the top of this and that's sort of what clamps the, uh, the cooling fans onto the radiator so let's pull that thing out next wrong socket and it's wrong because it's quarter inch drive that's the standard fastener the seven mil did not fit beard there's one fluid was starting to come up again. Uh, anyway, the other fastener is right down here. You can't see, there it is. Let me work that one out. And I'll see if I can't get these uh, fans to come out. 
So this is gonna go one of two ways. I'm either on the right track and this is gonna work out or I'm kind of wasting my time and I have to pull the fish off anyway. But time will tell, I don't know yet. Vacuum powering down. Let's see, pop that off there. One more right here. There's our little wind deflector thing. Good. See, let's move this thing over if I can. It's sticking out over the fan. Push that clip in. All right, it's kind of free. You gonna come out of there? Am I shooting myself in the foot again? I think there's something attached to it at the bottom. Oh no. No, nothing attached, but the uh, lines for the AC are kind of in the way, so I'm gonna reach down here and get those guys disconnected. And then pull them aside and perhaps that'll give me the space needed to uh, fish this fan out. Okay, I, I think I've achieved some degree of success with reaching that fitting down there. It's, it's far away, but I got a tool on it. I believe I can get a finger on it in a minute. Let's get that out of here. Come on. This is gonna be fun putting back together. No worries. We can do it. There's the nut. Come here, line. Remove yourself from the Jeep's gene pool. There. Okay. Line is now separated. That goes over there. You can hang out on that bolt so you don't get in the way. And I'll just put that back on for right now. Couldn't hurt. Okay fan. I want the fans out. Come on, there's so much stuff. It's crowding this fan shroud that every time I move it some, it runs into something else. There's just so many little obstructions. Oh. You're going to come out. Yeah, here we go. Yes, nope, yes, got it. All right, so this upper hose right here is very quickly becoming a problem, so I'm going to remove it right now, if I can. If I keep pushing it out of the way and fighting with it, it was in the way of that fan shroud coming out, and it's going to be even more in the way when everything goes back together. So, uh, it is now leaving the Jeep. Question is, am I going to spill a bunch of coolant? And that's a negative. Maybe a little. Goodbye, coolant. Well, this is cool. There's a power steering cooler connected to the condenser and I don't see how it's connected. Some kind of a clip. Yeah. Wonder if it just pops off of there. Looks like there's a similar situation on this side over here. I guess it just pops out. Okay. Let's get out of there. All right, reaching down. We need to figure out how to disconnect uh, this uh, power steering cooler from the condenser. It's got some kind of a clip. I don't understand how it works, but I'll figure it out somehow. Yeah, I made a mistake. I should have removed everything. It 
like the direction said. No, oh, you guys know me and my shortcuts. Yeah, that goes like that. Hmm. Need to figure this out somehow. Because now I'm in too deep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're figuring this out now, aren't we? Um, turning over here to this side, we're going to do the same thing. Alright, looks like I'm conducting a similar action on this side. Hope you guys can see. If you can't, I apologize. Whoa, something gravity. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, now the power steering cooler can stay. And then we'll go ahead and lift this condenser out. First, let me get you guys out of there. You're, uh, you're in kind of deep. Yeah, you were in that hole right there. Okay, let's try this again. We'll lean it back. There's one clip that holds it in, and then... Where's that other one? Is there another? Yeah, there's one over here, right down there. I also just saw two power steering lines over on the passenger side, so I'll have to deal with that in a moment. Okay, that's free. Okay, let's scooch over and get these trans lines removed. It's that one down there and that one down there. I may have just referred to them as uh, power steering lines, I don't remember. But if I did, these are transmission cooler lines. The trans cooler is integrated into the AC condenser. Like the bottom part is the condenser, and then the top part is a trans cooler. Uh, very common practice. It's a way to make one part do two functions with a single part number. Here's our clip. Okay, another. Please come out. I do not wish to fight you, but I will. <laughs> Got it. Now, with some carefully applied uh, leverage, Like I was saying, Jeep, with some carefully applied leverage, these lines will come out. Except they're not. Mm. Oh, that one moved. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I think. Come out. Wow. We'll try it again with some angle needle noses. I'm basically grabbing the line and then using the tip of the plier to pry against the fitting and to pull the line out like so. Oh, it's spilling everywhere. Yeah, that thing's in there. Let's see if I can get this one. Come out. Please. Yeah. Come on, grip it. Grip it good. There we go. Got it. This unit is uh, disconnected. I think it's going to come free now. Let's back it up. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna get stuck on that AC line. That's not, I'm not interested in that. There we go. Sweet. All right, now that this is out, we can get a closer look at the carnage here. Take a look at what happened. 
it's got a pretty large leak. It's actually big enough to surprise me. I figured I would have uh, noticed that the first time this was here, or at least been able to find it, but it is what it is. That's our leak. Probably right here where this fin meets the tank. That's probably where it's leaking. And of course, there's the, uh, the other one. It's going down right here. Again, there's more damage. This thing must have taken some kind of an impact at some point, and uh, they did not replace the condenser. That's what I think. Okay, there's our old unit. New unit's uh, in this little piece of cardboard right here, so let's get this thing unclipped. And uh, what we need to do, I've already pulled the clips off, but we need to pull that power steering cooler off from the other side and then press it through the fins on the new unit. Now, when that goes through, it will not hurt the uh, the core because these right here, these little fins here, those do not house any of the refrigerant. It's gonna be these fins right here that contain the refrigerant. And uh, as long as I don't poke a hole in one of those fins on the new unit, we can push that through. Will not be a problem. So, let's get to it. Uh, we need that, that's the stud that hangs on to the AC lines when they plug in. So we're gonna need that. That goes in the pocket for now. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's get that out of here, we don't need that. So let's flip this around. This is the front side now facing us. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull those clips out and we're gonna measure based on the position on the holes of the old unit where those clips are gonna pass through and then we will install them on the new one. Okay, I've got the new unit here, old unit here, and we're gonna place these clips in the exact same position on the new unit as how they came off the old unit. And I will measure those. We're gonna go over, looks like uh, two and seven eighths, and coming up from the bottom, we're seven and a half. So let's go over here, seven and a half, that puts us on this core. And what did I say? Two and seven eighths? Yeah. Two and seven eighths. That puts us right here. That's where that one goes. So we're going to press this through between the fins. Click. All right. That's one clip. The other clip is actually on a different core. It's a different plane. So we're going to go one, two, three, four cores down. And that measures what about five and five eighths. Back over to this one, find our center. Four cores down, one, two, three, four. And that brings us up to five and five eighths, I think. All right, that's the one. And then we measure over from the edge, loud noises. And that's five and a half over from the edge. So, five and a half over from the edge puts us right, right here. We measure it one more time. It's five and a half. Five and five eighths, that's the spot. Let's press this one through. There we go. Okay, now we'll flip her around because we've got to put these little retainer clips back on those mounts. They just click right on, no big deal. Clicks. Okay, let's go get this thing set back up into its home. All right, our unit's going back in very carefully. Um, go on, unit. Oh, hang on. Trans lines are in the way again. Just pull those back and stick them over there. Like I was saying, very carefully. Oh, nice. Okay, the bottom tabs are in. Hmm. Why is my light flashing? What is this? 
I don't know. All right, looking good. It's clipped in. Very nice. All right, back down here at the uh, trans cooler again. Sorry, power steering cooler. Let's go ahead and get this thing set up in its little clips. I think that's about aligned. That one looks good. This one looks good. That one's a little high up. Here, pull that hose out of the way. There. That one's clipped on. And let's get this uh let's get this other one set up now. Right. Ow, it got my thumb. Mm. That hurt. It's okay, I have band-aids. Okay, all that's looking good. Let's get our uh, trans cooler lines back on. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold off on those because these were kind of in the way when I was trying to get that fan in. So I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'll set the fan up first and then I can reach in and plug those in because they just clip in. Once you get them in position and they snap past those little E-clips, then they're in and they're good. So I'll just leave those over here for now. That way I have room to play with. I think that's a much better idea. So uh, that being said, let's go fetch the fans and drop those oh, in next. Yeah. Well, fan, no, single fan. Not multiples. Oop, up. Yeah, this should go in a little bit easier since I've got those uh, trans cooler clips or lines disconnected. Let's go, Gravity. I need you to be on my team for once here. There we go. Just slide this thing over. That goes past there. Good. Same thing over here. Slide that past that mount. Mm-hmm. And then back over here, what do we hung up on? A water pump. Slide past that. Past that again. Yes, this is where I like gravity. It does the work so I don't have to. Good. And there's a little slot down there. One here and one down there. Fan slips into that and that's what secures it. Same thing on this side. Except this wire is hanging us up. Let's get that out of there. Oh, missed it. I missed the bottom one. Back up. Mm. Uh oh. Let me put you guys down. Stay right here. Two hands. Need two hands for this one. Get in there. Got it. All right. That's clipped in. Secure in two points. Secure on two more points over here. This is looking good. All right. Now. Now we can get these trans lines plugged back in. And they go way, way far forward. I don't know if I should try this one at a time or two at a time. I'll probably try to stick both of them in at the same time. See how that works out. The lines are leaking a little bit, so it's lubricated. This is good. We like it when the Orifice comes pre-lubricated. I think I'm doing these one at a time. I can't get them both in at the same time. It's it's an alignment issue. Oh, man. Come on. This might have also been a mistake. Lack of judgment. Oh, get in there. Clip. <sighs> All right. 
That one's in. Let's put our little re plastic retainer back on. That's for safety. We need that. All right, one more. These things are uh, a little harder than uh, I uh, had originally anticipated. Oh man. Please click, get in there. Sorry if y'all can't see. <clears throat> Woo! All right, let's see what else we got here. How about a fan connector? We could do that. Let's get this thing reconnected again. Fan connector click. It's kind of a silent click. Like I, I felt it, but we didn't really hear it. <sighs> Put that back. Okay, fans on. Let's do, let's get the AC lines reconnected down there at the uh, condenser. Let's do that next. All right, let's get that stuff wiggled in. I, I did throw some new gaskets uh, on those lines. Let's go find the nut. Yeah, I found it, got it. Let's give this thing the continued reach around treatment and get this nut on. I, I know you guys can't see. Sorry, I'm getting it threaded with my fingy tips. All right, that's connected. Ultra low profile ratchet coming in. Let's get a couple clicks on that uh, on that fastener there. And I think I'll hook the machine back up and start to pull this into a vacuum. That way it can pull down while I'm assembling the other stuff. Oh, I also got that little plastic piece of trim on top of the radiator reinstalled. But it was fairly uneventful, so uh, I didn't uh, bother recording that. I figured letting you know I did it is sufficient. Click. Holy smokes. It's hot in here, guys. Hmm. Let's see here. That goes there. That's our high side pressure switch. Flashlight's flashing again. I guess while I'm here, I can plug these power steering lines back into their little brackets. Uh, there's, oh, the little clip fell down. Not what we want. We want that up here. That one's on. That one's on. All right, good to go. Get out of okay, here. we've got four bolts to uh, secure the top of the core support. There we go. Now the entire cooling package is now secure and uh, can't go anywhere. So I do have a uh, one bolt, two, three, and four left to do on this, but I'll get those later. I want to get the rest of this stuff assembled. Okay fire the AC machine back up and I will pull this system into a vacuum. We'll set it for like 20 minutes or so. Just let that thing run. Okay, vacuum's about to start. Let's uh, let's see here. Let's put this bracket back on for the uh, AC line right here. I don't want this thing just flippy flopping around all willy nilly like. That goes there. And this one, that's gonna go there with a push clip, okay. Do do do. There it is. Good, good, good. This is all where it should be. Let's get the upper hose in next. Put that on right there. Inside of its little mount. Over on that side there. Good. I'm happy with how this is going. Very, very happy. I'll bend you later. I don't think we need this uh, zip tie right here. How did this go before? Little tab goes, I see. It's not very easily removed, is it? Leave it to a Chrysler to like reinvent the wheel, I swear. This doesn't have to be such a contraption. 
It doesn't end if you believe. I wish it never ends. I wish this Jeep would just end. Hey, we're almost flipped on. Fail. Lost it. Come on. Defeated by a hose bracket. Watch this. Come on, Tab. Get in there. Aha! Got one. Come on. Please click in the place. Almost. This whole business is totally getting edited out right here. I can't. I can't entertain you guys with me struggling with this piece of metal. It's dumb. Come on. You're so close. Ooh. I think I got it. I almost got it. There, now I all the way got it. Bend it back how it goes so it's super secure. Woohoo. That was fun. Okay, let's get this other hose clamp over here while we're at it. That's a big one. No. It will not comply. This is 100% the wrong tool for this hose clamp, but I like a challenge. So we make it. There. And uh, there's another over here. All right, let's back up some. I'll throw those two core support bolts in right here. I had a feeling I could pull this off without following directions. And I know the Chrysler guys out there, they're gonna go, you did it the hard way. It's 10 times easier if you just pull the fascia off. And you're probably right. But you guys know me, I like to do it my way, which is usually the hard way. Clickage. And there's another right over here. Uh, over here, a little farther away. Aha. Beautimus. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's get our little uh, heat shield box guard device thing in here. It sits down on those two grommets. Yeah, two grommets. Let's get those pressed in first. Oh. Got that off, didn't I? You are not aligned properly. You have to mark it pieces, you. There. Okay. That goes like so. That goes right there. That's our power steering reservoir. Remember that? I do. Click. And then, what did I forget here? I don't know. Oh, gotta tighten up that bolt right there. And then two more go in the side to secure the panel to its bracket. Let's get that next. I don't want to forget that. This is hard. Like everything about this is hard. Naked. Two clickage. All right, we've got a PCB hose that goes here. 
good. And then the filter element comes in. This plugs into the end of the filter. That goes there. We got our tube. That goes through the hole. Onto the intake somehow, some way. I dropped my clamp. Ah, here we go. That's good. And then, on our throttle body. Right there. One more bolt on the back side. That one's tight. Let's give it a click. This bolt also doubles up to hold the power steering return line to the top of the pump. Efficient use of fasteners, I must say. It's not a screwdriver. But this one is. Okay, and then one more clamp right here on the filter, which became unconnected there. Woohoo, we're getting somewhere. I think we're, we're nearly there. Let's throw some coolant in it while this thing vacuums and we'll charge it and uh, fire it up and see what kind of temperatures it makes. So I've come to conclude that this bracket doesn't need to be here. It was probably for the old intake system. So I'm gonna pull this off, not with that socket. And the reason I'm gonna do that is this thing could make noise or hit this thing and scratch it. So let's just get rid of it right now. What? No. I'll rent it to you. Okay, before we get the coolant in this, I'm gonna go ahead and put all the trim panels back on. Uh, like I said, I skipped that earlier. And uh, I'm fixing the skip again, just letting you know I'm doing it. Okay, got both, uh, both panels put back on. Let's get the trim pushed back in and I'll toss all the little clippy clips back on. My machine should be about done evacuating by now. And then we can go ahead and charge this. Oh, I forgot a fastener. Click. It's for the washer fluid bottle. Let's get all these guys back in. There are many multiples. Several. Lots of them. You get what I'm saying. Lots of them. All right, a few more on this side. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That was like a like an end of day doodly do. Might have been my the best one of the day. It was my happiest doodly do, not ever. It was definitely a happy one. Yes, you have completed the oil change on that. Yes, you have. I saw you do it. He wasn't even talking to me. That's the best part. Oh, what do we got? Three more clips? Sure. There's one. Uh, a half. I get it. I get it. You know, I just told you guys I was going to skip this and you ended up watching all of it. How about that? But I know. No consistency. Just no consistency. Don't look at me like that. No, no, I'm talking to myself. I have no idea what you're doing at all. I, I mean, I, I won't. I wouldn't venture out and say I think you're consistent, but but at least you're you're at least you're consistently inconsistent. You see, and that's that's all that really matters is can you consistently be inconsistent? That's what's up. Oh, the machine beef. Okay. Uh, let's charge this thing. What was our spec? Do you guys remember? Was it what one point? Looking like 1.38 pounds. We're gonna do 1.4 pounds. Okay, machine beeped, it's ready to charge. What do we got? This is a single AC, 1.38 pounds. Let's do that. Let's see, charging. No, it's not a, a hybrid POE oiled system. 
checking. I don't care. Don't save the records. Come on. Uh, let's see. Zero, one, three, eight pounds refrigerant. Begin charging now. Oh, that one went. All right. It's filling. You can hear it. Good. Good. Oh, flashlight. Let's get that back. All right. Starting the engine. Let's see here. Push button start. Toss our thermal meter in. Begin cooling system operation now. Yep, we're going. Hey, the check engine light turned on. Wonder why. I bet the light turned on because I had some things unplugged. Ah, what have, what have I done? Exactly what I didn't want to do. Okay, it's been a while. This thing is starting to, uh, to overflow from heat expansion, so let's get our cat back on. I'll refill the overflow. And uh, I need to correct myself. I called this the washer fluid bottle earlier. It's the surge tank for the radiator. Washer fluids on that side. All right, decorative Hemi engine cover coming in. Got it. Good. All right, let's lose our uh, connections here. The machine is done. Right. Okay, let's get all the dye off of here, off our service valves, off the engine cover off the radiator hose. I don't want residual dye hanging out to confuse the next guy. Cap. Another thank you machine, we know you're good. All right, how is our temperature doing in here? It feels pretty good. Well, we're 55 degrees right now, okay? All right, let's see what the scan tool has to say about that uh, check engine light. Where's my uh, connector? There it is. Plug that in. Oh, camera's all over the place. Sorry, guys. Shaky, shaky. Okay, we're cooling down nicely. We're at 50 degrees. That's pretty good. Scanner. We're multitasking. Back this thing out safety and we're gonna go outside go hose this thing off definitely multitasking I'm driving code scanning car washing recording talking I'm doing everything at the same time forward a Ventura style oh yeah engine parking and codes menu let's let's just see what it was i bet it's for the fan or something ah cooling fan one circuit open we know that that's no longer relevant the fan's running and the circuit is closed so we're just going to clear that yes clear codes light what's up with you you out it's going to make me shut it down powering off accessory run Resume. Whoa, thermal meter gravity. Come here. Stay. And DTC should have been erased. Power it down. Restarting. Lights off, We're good to go. All right, let's head outside and rinse this thing off. All right guys, we're about done here with this truck. I've got a couple little 
things to attend to before it's finalized and complete, one of which will be a test drive. And then I've got to get it back in the air once it reaches operating temperature and uh, it's not gonna work. And check the trans fluid level because I know I spilled some flow. So once I reset that trans fluid level, we're gonna be good to go in this truck. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out right now. I will do such things by thanking you guys for watching this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know about that by tapping that like button down below. If you did not enjoy this video, I, I sincerely apologize and I wish I could do something for you, but I, I just can't right now. I'll do better next time. So, again, and as always, thank you for watching. And most importantly, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Ending of Jeep. <laughs>